Hey guys, how's it going? PJX here, and welcome back to a new video. In this one, we are recording on hy-pvp.com or .net. I can't remember the link to the not the link, but the server IP is in the description below. If you want to join, uh, feel free to check that out. That'd be really cool, guys. Uh, this is really my favorite one v one server. I think it's better than Kohi and Badline and all of that, simply because of one thing. The knockback doesn't seem to be ping based at all. Like in my opinion, even a pinger doesn't have much of an advantage here. And as you can see, I have around 130 to 170 milliseconds of ping all the way. So yeah, this server has very little knockback. It's not vanilla. It's like it's kind of like vanilla except a tiny bit below on the knockback. It's a pretty good server in general. hy-pvp.net, I guess that's it or .com, one of those darn things. It's called hy-pvp though. I'll probably be getting the YT rank on here sooner or later. I have no idea of the requirements. I'm pretty sure I meet them though cuz it's a small-ish server. But we're going to try to fix that. It's an amazing server and I think it deserves more support, guys. So anyway, I have got a story for you guys today. By the way, this mostly consists of me 1v1ing and beating the crap out of Cham the Owl, a former Dauntless member. He was like a Dauntless media designer or something, I don't know. But yeah, the story I have for you is about, a, I almost lost a mirror off my Cadillac a couple days ago. Like yesterday, no, it was the day before yesterday that I lost my mirror off my Cadillac. Almost. It has a big dent, like on the front underside of the mirror and a scratch on it. Okay, so the story was, I was just passing the school, the elementary school, right? There's a big straight stretch there, then one ahead of that. So I come around the curve, I was driving with um, one of my friends, he's a car mechanic. He used to date my aunt or something, I don't know. <laughs> and I consider him uncle pretty much he has like the magic touch with car mechanic and before the coolant my engine coolant was failing it just it wouldn't cool my engine down and I overheated a couple times so we had to get a new thermostat put in the car and uh, fill it full of antifreeze and he just had the magic touch in fixing all of that so yeah after that I was right ahead of the school I went around a curve and there's a little straight stretch there right it's a pretty wide road there's no excuse for what he did so here comes this big semi truck it was like a low boy if anyone knows what that is I, I assume that's not just a redneck a redneck word low boy I don't know if that's a redneck word or not but what it is basically is it hauls you know cars dozers heavy equipment and stuff it's really really freaking big it was a big red one so yeah, I met that coming around a curve, right? And he kept getting closer to me on my side of the road. Just he just he, he kept coming closer. He was already a foot and a half onto my side of the road, like across the yellow line and stuff. He was clearly not paying attention and he must have been drunk in there or something. That's what I'm gonna guess. He was probably fucking drunk because he was driving like a complete maniac. And he just kept coming closer. He must have been two feet on my side of the road. I had my wheels right next to the edge of a cliff on the other side of the road. And I hit my brakes to slow down to see if he would move. I thought he would, like, you know, have some brain in his head. Uh, I guess you, I guess I expect too much of hillbillies, right? I love the, I love most of the hillbillies I live with. They're really, really nice. But not this guy. This guy can go kill himself because he almost fucking killed me. So, yeah. He ran my car almost over a cliff off the side of the road. And I realized he wasn't going to cut back to his side of the road because he kept coming closer and closer. So I just punched it and I got up to 60 or 70 and I passed him and he twinged my mirror on the side as I was going past him. I went dangerously fast because he was coming at me about 70 or, 70 or 80 miles per hour. So if my car didn't go that fast, if it didn't have all that power, I would be dead over a cliff with my neck broke right now. So that's great, right? That's always good, you know. That, that's really, really good. Thank you very much, you stupid bastard. I know who he is, too. He's about to lose his job of hauling that equipment. I'm going to give his boss a call. Tell him he needs to get his drunk little bastard under control. Because he was clearly drunk. He cut me off the road, nearly killed me. So, yeah, that's my story for today. The video is almost over. I have no idea what to talk about for the next 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So... Let's think of something. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below if you like this video. If you do, hit that like button down below. Be sure to tell me if you want more kinds of this video. I'm sure you guys will like this because it's basically 1v1 PvP, you know? And this is my favorite server to do 1v1s on simply because it's not ping based in my opinion. I've never once seen a pinger, like even one with 30 milliseconds, outdo me in knockback. It seems to be the exact same knockback no matter what. Uh, as long as you don't have like two or 300 milliseconds or something, it should be 100 
100% perfect for you. So I would highly recommend this server if you're looking for a 1v1 server to versus your pingy friend on. Say he has 14 milliseconds and you have 150. Well, come to this server and 1v1 him. You see he froze here because he went down and ping really badly. He lives in Mexico, so that's understandable, you know. Cham lives in Mexico. On Mineplex, he still gets 78 milliseconds. It's freaking crazy. In Mexico, may I remind you. Gosh, dang. He must have some beast net. I'm just I'm telling you, he must have some beast net. That's insane. All right, well, anyways, GG Cham. This was an awesome 1v1 experience against you and the other players that I 1v1. I'm pretty sure that guy that took his armor off was attempting to hack but failed. And I just somehow ended up absolutely tinning him with my sword. So, yeah. That was my story for the day. Almost getting my mirror knocked off. Almost dying and flying over a fucking cliff. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I'm going to assume you did because it was a pretty good one. It's actually true. I'm going to prove it. Uh, tomorrow, my camera comes in. I just bought a... GoPro. It's a GoPro Black Hero 4. It can record in 4K quality. That's cinema quality, you know, 4K. I think it's 4... No, I don't know the numbers. I don't know the resolution numbers. Ah, crap. Well, whatever. I'm going to be uploading either 4K videos or 1080p 60. It'll be my new face cam, and it'll also be used for vlogs. So, guys, I would much recommend you checking out my vlogs. I'm going to be showing off my car, the place I live, going places with you guys, doing shit, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you check it out and i'll be interacting with people i'll do q and a's all kinds of crap i'm sure you guys will enjoy it very much if you give it a chance so yes that's just about it i'm gonna wrap this video up here be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you've enjoyed and all that good crap so thank you very much for watching guys it would help out very much if you'd follow me on social media and share this with all your friends like you can tell your friends about my channel and that would help out a ton so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.